All right, today I'm going to discuss something that is near and dear to me, multi-skilling. I'll be talking about fletching in the context of some gathering skills, specifically fishing, woodcutting, and mining. I will first outline the concept behind this method, while some fish fletching is played in the background. The tick system has been overexplained already, so I will just quickly go over the important points. If this is your first time hearing about the tick system, or you are curious as to how it exactly works, I will leave a link to the RuneScape wiki in the description. YouTube is also oversaturated with explanations, so that is a great option if you're looking for more information. So, my understanding of how this works is definitely not complete, but this is what I noticed while testing these skills. Fishing, woodcutting, and mining are all four tick skills. This means that the absolute, theoretical maximum number of successful actions in a given time is that amount of time in ticks divided by 4. For example, there are 100 ticks in a minute, so the maximum amount of successful actions, such as fishing a fish or chopping a log, is 25. 100 divided by 4. But you don't actually have to be doing the skill for the full 4 tick duration. As long as you're performing that skill on the 4th tick, you're able to succeed in that action. In other words, there is a small amount of downtime that can be utilized during these skills. Fletching arrows is a good filler for this downtime, and allows for lossless XP. In fact, it makes fletching a zero-time skill for mana counts. Fletching takes two ticks to perform, one tick to open the menu, and one tick to actually fletch the item. This leaves adequate time to fall within the four tick window mentioned before. Actually, you're left with one extra tick, but I'll discuss this tick later. So, fishing and woodcutting are a little different from mining. They need to have continuous rhythm, otherwise you won't succeed. Mining is different, and I'll discuss this later. When you're first starting out, I'd highly recommend using skill chompas, or performing actions on things with a very high success rate. This is so you can make sure that you're still in the rhythm. Think trouts or salmon, and acacia logs. In the video, I made sure to use skill chompas to demonstrate the fact that I was succeeding all of these actions. So how exactly does this work? The steps I take for woodcutting and fishing are to click on the spot and wait for one successful action, or a skill chompa to hit. As soon as I see that XP drop, I activate the keybind that my arrows are bound to, I hit the spacebar a couple of times, and then I click back on the fishing spot or the tree. It's actually incredibly easy once you get the rhythm. Now we'll discuss mining. I'm not entirely sure how the mining actions work, but it is apparent that you don't need to follow the rhythm. From what I gather, you succeed one tick after starting the mining actions, so two ticks in total. This makes mining a lot easier to learn on in some ways, but also a little bit worse. Because mining is not interrupted if you aren't following the tick system precisely. If you're not paying attention, you might end up doing things wrong or lose those precious mining ticks without even noticing. You might be wondering why I have this side-by-side -side comparison going on here. Remember that extra tick that I brought up earlier? You can actually use that tick with fletching. If you have 15 or less headless arrows in your inventory, and you click on your arrowheads, it won't prompt the menu for you. That means that this only takes one tick. So if you start by crafting 15 headless arrows from shafts and feathers, and then turn those into your full arrows, you only use three ticks for two fletching actions. This leaves very little wiggle room, but it can still work. This is also incredible for Iron Men, because as Iron Men, we need to make our own headless arrows. Alright, I think that wraps up this first episode. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If anything in the video is incorrect or needs clarity, please let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions for future Iron Men related videos, please let me know. I apologize for the horrible video quality, my computer is poopy. Thanks for watching.